The Huron River is a popular destination in the summer in Michigan. Over 80,000 people rent canoes and kayaks during a four-month period. The Arts Alliance of Ann Arbor, Michigan commissioned several artists to develop sculptures made from old retired canoes. After picking out the canoes, we transported them to a friend's barn where we began cutting, cleaning, sanding, grinding the dense scrapes and gouges that were on the used canoes. I designed a supportive base made from steel plate and angle iron that was hand bent, welded, and riveted to the canoe. We also fabricated a stainless steel framework to attach the wood seat to. To fill the deep grooves and dents, I used two gallons of auto body filler that was put on five layers deep, was sanded with coarse sandpaper, and then finished with a fine orbital sander. The canoes were then etched with a water-based phosphorus solution. Then automotive acrylic enamel paint was chosen for its outdoor longevity and intensity of color. Shaken and stirred. First primed the canoes with a catalyzed epoxy primer. Then painted the interior the chartreuse color. After they were painted, I then taped off that color and painted the exterior of the canoes red. These were then loaded up on a truck and trailer and transported to the city of Ann Arbor at Island Park for the installation. My concept for this canoe sculpture was to create a set of private alcove-like viewing portals that one could interact with by sitting and viewing the passing kayaks and take time to enjoy the river environment. Sculptures are painted vivid colors for a reason. I want them to stand out as a departure of what a canoe is and into a sculptural environment meant to be experienced from the outside as well as the inside. Yep. 